begin this day with a clean car. That Ronnie's car wash. Which I, and I'm a member. I don't like car washes. They're automatic. I'm really, 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 really done. Hey, wow, well, they must have gave me that pass. problem, I mean, you know, and, where are you going? She just drove in the other side. Huh. So, um, that guy, the guy says, I'm going to give you both rainbow, um, washes, you know, the ultimate wash. And he was like, I told him, I said, you don't have to, and he said, no, it's okay. I guess he thought we were fighting over there or something and there was no fighting. The guy was just trying to be the ultimate gentleman and and wanted to go ahead and let me go ahead and that was awful sweet. But he didn't have to. I mean, he was in the in the right hand gate and I was in the left hand gate and we were both right there at the gate. I've sold. I mean, even if I had to, I could move that other stuff from the unit way over on the other side towards that small one if I could get some stuff moved around. I got 
got two pieces of big furniture I gotta sell. A recliner and a couch. That will give me some extreme room. As a matter of fact, the couch is in a smaller unit that's not even in my unit. It's not part of my auction or any of mine. And that would probably be ideal to put my the save stuff in and or sales stuff. As I've got to start incorporating and get it moved around before she shows up tomorrow because she may be flaming pissed. And I don't want to have her lock my stuff out either because uh, I would be pissed because I, I have other units there anyway. Big units. I'm still looking at getting a bigger, nicer office. Um, I'm considering getting a mall storefront. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. They offered a huge one to me a year ago for 600 for the trains, but um, and it should be cheaper now. I'm thinking probably about 400 So, I don't know. I've called them several times. You can never get all of them. I may call this other broker on that and see if they're handling it. See what they require. So much to do to not let go. I don't have nothing to do. I work every day. Got some little standalone storages outside. That's interesting. Try to keep the car clean when you're in Florida because the salt water will just eat the metal up and rust it away. I mean, seriously, I, I did the brakes on my van, and uh, my daughter and I did them, and uh, we put new drums on and stuff. And in, in less than a week, the drums were just rusted out. And uh, one of the security guards said, "Red, you need to." those brakes. I said, I just did, and those are brand new drums. And he's like, they're all rusted out? And I said, well, it's because it's Florida. Salt water just rusts everything. We got to be careful spray paint brake parts. They're, one, they're high heat. And two, it's not always real good for those parts. You have to really know what you're doing. a coating. When you buy, you know, uh, rotors and drums, there's a coating on them. And, uh, you would have to strip all that off, and it's almost like an oily dip or something. And, uh, you'd have to strip all that off to try to get the paint to stick. Redheaded kid, you're so cool. The car looks good. I just have the El Cheapo membership, where it's just the wash thing. I just didn't want to spend any more money than that, and it's it's cheaper than going to the hand car wash anymore. It cost me ten dollars at least. So I paid fourteen dollars a month for my membership. So I can go through there every day, every week, whatever. As long as it's just getting rinsed off, that's good, you know. 
they had about eight different cho choices of car washes, and I just said, I want the cheapest one. I don't care if it was just water. It's fine. Rinse it off. My car needs to be left so bad. I haven't done it since, like, December. totally finished with it getting the final polishes when I last buffed it just cleaning the paint up now get it clean before you buff it or you just grind in that stuff in there and it just never gets to work every day you start seeing employees in a lot of these places. Which is really helping them. Uh, services getting better. It's quicker to get through. Even, even when you're standing in the six foot lines, you know, six foot apart. Social distancing, it's, it's, it's a lot quicker to get through when they have staff to work. Instead of just one manager and one employee in all these places, they're starting to hire on, get them in, get folks to work. And the gongles over there, on the corner there, in Fort Walton, uh, they went from like two employees to like seven now on a shift. So they're really moving and grooving now. They must have been hell to just had two employees run that place. I don't know, my daughter can tell you she was like the ultimate MCD employee. She got really good pay and she really worked hard. I need that Cadillac, thank you. Not the hearse, the blue one. The hearse is creepy. today. Please don't. But if it's work was going so fast, I thought they were just going to drive through the lake. <coughs> yeah, I've just got needed a filter, amazingly enough. It's right up the money. Obviously, I'm not going to because uh, oh, there's a million people in line over there. Too late to get bacon and cheese biscuits, I think. I don't know, maybe not. There's too many people. Oh, geez. I don't like their food. I only like about two things. Go first in the beginning. Oh, I, uh, I should have gone by that taco joint to see if they were open. I could have bought some taco stuff, brought it down. 
back. This high dollar grocery store down the street's real good. They have some carnitas <coughs> that I can just buy straight and then buy some veggies and tortillas and make some tacos. Feed some of the homeless folks. Oh, it's going to be a big day. I do wish I'd have got here earlier, but. I got this. I got woke up a couple times last night, so I didn't get all the sleep I really needed to have to catch up. So there we go. We. <laughs> boy, oh boy. 